Hi, I'm Anna French and I live in a small house on five acres in southern Colorado with my fiance Ryan and our two dogs. We're slowly turning um, our land into a sustainable farmstead. So one of the first steps for us was fencing in a large portion of our land and that's what I'm gonna take you along for today. My fiance Ryan took on way more um, of the manual labor of this. He took on the lead for filming and he edited this video. So I hope you enjoy it. So today we're going to be starting the fence that we're going to be putting around our property. Um, we're putting about an acre and a half of property line inside the fence for the dogs to run around and we also have wild horses around the area and we want to be able to keep them out. We're trying to brace our corners. Um, we've got eight foot tall wood beams for our, our four corners. is working on getting in the corner post. And if you can see the tall T, T post are the ones that are gonna stay, the shorter ones we're gonna be pulling out. I'm just going around putting these pink flags in the spots where um, the T posts are gonna go so that we're doing them about 12 feet apart. And then we've got the big wood ones in the corner. Twelve feet apart was kind of the middle ground of the suggestions we were reading online for a fence like this. So we want it to be pretty durable because um, it's going to be keeping our dogs in, some neighbor dogs out, uh, keeping wild horses out, keeping potential predators out. We, there's been like bobcats and other things seen in the areas, definitely some coyotes probably isn't going to keep coyotes out because they're probably just going to dig under if they really wanted to get in but um, it's definitely a deterrent and also eventually we're going to get chickens and goats and so we'll probably partition off different sections for that but at least this will be kind of the big area that's gated in just for all the animals. Okay, this is hard work. And I didn't realize how big five acres was until we just started trying to fence in like an acre of it. Maybe an acre and a half. Um, it's a lot of land. We're about to cement in the first corner pieces. I think I have to pull this one just a little bit. But... We got these three corner posts in. You 
and it looks great. The second day of the fence, um, I got about one side of it done, and now we're working on the other side. I've got two of the corners also put in. So I'm off to a good start. I think today will be the other two corners and then the rest of the posts. Um, and then I think one more day for the fencing and then we should all be done. After you walk the perimeter, you uh, get a feel for how big five acres actually is. And uh, I'm beat from bringing T-posts to the wooden beams back and forth. And now I have to do cement. Um, yeah, five acres is plenty of room. I'm waking up early today to uh, do the cement. Um, I thought I was gonna do all the posts yesterday, but I got to the one corner and the ground was still frozen, so I still don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it today. Concrete is going a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna. Even hauling it out to the side of the yard and hauling the water out, it's not too bad. So it's always a good thing just to take a little pole or you could take a stick, poke as far as you can down and make sure you you don't have any pockets. I'm on the last corner, um, the ground's still frozen though, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably just wait until tomorrow. Um, I still got one more side of the T-post to do, and then, uh, then, yeah, rolling out the fence. Here is the pink line that I'm using. Um, I just used the other corner, um, hooked it up, and then came right to the uh, property line. Um, I use this app on my phone, I think it's called the Onyx Hunt, um, and it just shows you all the uh, the property lines, it also shows you like public lands and all that stuff. I guess they use it for hunting. This side has been going pretty well. Um, I think all but one have gone in on the first try. Okay, so we gotta figure out where we want these placed and then we gotta cut them um, diagonally so they line up with these posts. Ryan got these posts cemented in. We decided to just buy um, one piece of slightly um, thinner, I think it's four inches or three inches? Yeah, four, inches. four inches wide wood to act as the support, a diagonal support. Really <laughs> well done fences do one straight wood post here and then a diagonal tension um, cable. So we're gonna try it this way and then down the road, if it's not holding up well, we can always do the cables for extra support. These are 
treated uh, wood beams. I think I mentioned before, but these ones, the corner, the three corner posts on every corner are five inches wide. Nova, what you doing? So we're actually gonna start the fencing here since we are still undecided about what we're gonna do on the corners since it's a little hard to nail in um, the big nails that are gonna be connecting the diagonal and the vertical posts. For now, we're just gonna start the fencing along our kind of uh, driveway gate. Out. One of these cowboys is going to come and swoop you up. Today, I found out about a fence stretcher, and instead of buying one, I decided just to make one. So I put this <clears throat> piece of rebar through it. Um, it's pulling it a little bit as you can see, but I've got the ratchet straps hooked up to this beam and um, Yeah, it's working really well. I mean I stretched this whole length of fence Pretty tight. I mean there's still some wobble through it, but I don't think that um, I'm gonna be able to do that Okay, so it's a new day, new plan. Ryan found a better way, which I think he already showed you, of tightening the fence on the other side. So we're moving on. Now I'm just going through and locking it into place. So. There's a new plan. We're gonna attempt the H, um, the H formation for the corners. So instead of doing the diagonal post, we are gonna do one horizontal um, post in between the two corner wood beams. And then um, eventually when we have time, we're gonna go buy uh, the tool and the metal cables uh, to create the tension between them. project has been way bigger than we expected way harder the ground is just so tough there's so many rocks so Ryan has just been busting his butt uh, you know getting all the posts in the ground and I'm just really impressed and proud of him and I'm doing like the more easy jobs so uh, hopefully we get this rest of this knocked out today Hi! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go get dinner. Come on. Okay, everyone sit. Good. Sit. Good girl. This is the last stretch of the fence we have to do. I think we have about a little over 100 feet left. We're gonna try and get it done today. You think we're gonna get it done today? Nope. Apparently we're getting it done today. So, I'll be good. wish us luck.
Today should be the last day of the fence. Um, it took a lot longer than we expected. Um, about five days in total. Today, I've got to put in the gate where we'll be going out to our other property right here. And then I also have to do the uh, cables on the corner posts to hold them in. Um, they're a little loose right now. Um, the cable just holds everything together and makes sure it doesn't come out. So I'm at the final stage. What we did was we took a 12 gauge wire and we wrapped it around both corner pieces and we made a figure eight with it. And then we crimped it onto this ratchet and then ratcheted down the uh, other side. So this tool, that holds together those two beams from this one to this one. It squeezes these together so they don't come apart. I really hope we don't do any more fences because this was a pain. I'm glad we're done. It seems to keep in Nova and Juniper and uh, it seems to keep the other dogs out too. So that's what we we're looking for. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Have a good one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell so you get notified when we put out new um, off-grid living, van life, um, home renovation, and travel videos. Thanks and see you next time.